bonjour. That's about the, the most French you're going to get from here on. <laughs> um, we have the solution. Uh, I'm from Healthy Soils Australia. Uh, we're a network of uh, scientists, uh, regenerative farmers and advocates. Our mission is to create awareness about the benefits of healthy biological soil. I believe we need to change the narrative. There's a serious problem happening and it's the breakdown of our hydrological cycle. Water governs 95% of the heat dynamics of the planet, not CO2. It's with this hydrological cycle that we can really make a difference, and now. How? Regenerative farmers practice what we call carbon farming, making holistic decisions, applying regenerative grazing and cropping principles that have been demonstrated successfully in Australia and around the world. They're drawing down CO2 through the process of photosynthesis, plants producing carbon extradates, sequestering carbon to a metre or more under the soil surface. Now I'm here to tell you that soil carbon is being sequestered at a far greater rate than previous research has found, because the researchers have been primarily been evaluating current practices. They're not looking at the innovators that are getting a much higher rate with the processes that work with the carbon cycle and, and soil health. Soil carbon improves water infiltration rate into the soil. It increases the water holding capacity of the soil. It improves the soil food web, which feeds plants in a symbiotic relationship that's been going on for millions of years. And it requires less inputs. We can grow more plants, which transpire water, and this has a cooling effect on the planet as well. I was a conventional farmer. I realised that I was just at war with nature fighting weeds and pests with an ever-increasing number of toxic chemicals. I had climate extremes and a degrading landscape. I knew I had to change my mindset. I found the answers in holistic decision-making and regenerative land management practices back in the early 1990s. At that time, I wanted to run a large organic beef operation, 1,300 cows, I researched and discovered I need to focus on creating healthy, biologically active soil. My management changed and my focus was on working with nature. The weeds and pests disappeared as the ecology came back into balance. Why do we separate agriculture from ecology? Our farming systems need to create a state for biodiversity to come back in. And we need to incorporate animals back into our cropping systems. A part of my management was to, was to monitor, so I set up six monitoring sites across a 2,500 hectare farm, and over a five-year period, my org average organic matter rose by over 3.5%, my, my beef production increased by 50%, and there was no need for fertilisers, chemicals, or animal health products. It was profitable, and what was really exciting was the increase in biodiversity across the farm. An example of my monitoring, I identified one wedge-tailed eagle's nest on the farm. It's, a one of our, it's our largest raptor. And after 10 years, there were six nests on the farm. My passion led me to become an educator and senior advisor with an organisation that over the past 30 years has trained tens of thousands of farmers and influenced millions of hectares of land in Australia. Resource Consulting Services, RCS, trains, consults and mentors and empowers farmers to be ecologically sound and profitable. A powerful process that RCS developed is for peer groups of farmers who support and keep each other accountable. Data collected by RCS show that training alone is not enough. Training leads to more knowledge, but it's not knowledge that changes farms, it's skills. Therefore, RCS developed processes which turn knowledge into skills within individual businesses. To transition landscapes, we must first transition land managers to have the goals and the desire to be regenerative. Australia is one of the largest, I mean, the driest continents on the planet. But from that background, innovators have emerged with game-changing regenerative solutions. Permaculture, pasture cropping, key line, natural sequence farming, to name a few. Obviously, there's a critical need to measure the amount of soil carbon that's been sequestered, and that's where a sister company of RCS comes in. 
Carbonlink, who is, for the past 13 years we've been working with our CSIRO to uh, develop technologies 100 times more accurate and at a lower cost than current methods. Carbonlink has tested over 16,000 hectares of land so far, and the data shows that the drivers from farm profit or drivers for farm profit and soil carbon abatement projects is firstly the sequestration rate and secondly the carbon price. What is critical is a global mechanism to encourage and reward as many farmers as we can to become carbon farmers. However, is a real need for global farmer friendly methodologies which are based on measurement and modelling but which don't restrict what a farmer can do to react to changing climate. The industrial and linear approach taken to emissions by Kyoto Protocol should have no place in the Paris Protocols when it comes to agriculture because it is based on being part of the carbon cycle. You're going to hear a lot more about the, the uh, term regenerative agriculture. We have farmers increasing soil organic matter from one and a half to seven percent over just over a decade. Uh, we have um, farmers increasing infiltration rates in the soil of 12 mils from 12 mils an hour to 750 mils an hour in the same time frame. Imagine what that do to our flooding events and, uh, and our droughts and uh, different things that we have to um, uh, deal with. We have farmers uh, that are uh, in Australia who are working with 200 to 300 mils of rainfall of cereal cropping in basically sand and, and being very productive. Now we have recent research that has found healthy soils can increase the photosynthesis capacity of plants by five times that of conventional cropping plants, giving a five-fold increase in net primary production. We have the solution. It's regenerative agriculture. We capture CO2. We create a soil carbon sponge which captures and holds more rainfall increases production and cools the planet. In many cases, thousands of years of poor farming practices and decision making can be reversed in a matter of decades. Thank you.